Hi everybody, welcome to Rooster Farms, this is Trish. I thought I was doing a video today to kind of show you the update on the garden status, do a little garden tour. We got quite a bit of rain yesterday, which was well needed. And so um, I was gonna weed today, which is a good time to weed because with all that rain, it makes it easy to pull things up, but my garden isn't very pretty because I need to weed. But I thought I would show you what's going on and also to remind myself of some things to do differently next year for sure and hopefully it helps you as well okay so this is my long area there that we were going to plant sunflowers but instead um we didn't get sunflowers so i have actually and i can't even walk in here because we had so much rain that i will sink down and ah see like a mess here so i'll try to zoom in that I need to pluck one of them. Um, those are giant um, pumpkins that I planted the last time I did a video I showed you. So they started to sprout, those ones did. And then over here, I have some more that I need to um, thin out. And then over here, I believe that's another pumpkin right there and then I have a zucchini that I planted right there a zucchini right there and my other zucchini over here that just came up um, not too long ago but I'm gonna have to thin no I thought just one of them came up those two right there and then over here I have my um, Kenny beans, I believe one's kenny beans, one row is black beans, and then I have a row of okra right there. And then all of this right here is open as of right now. I am actually going to go to town here in a little while and get up, pick up some more potting soil because I'm going to start my fall seeds. Um, I live in zone 7a so we usually don't get our first frost i haven't really googled it but we haven't got we won't get our first frost till eight, uh, october or something so we'll have plenty of time plus these are frost tolerant plants that i'm going to be planting anyways but um i'm going to start a bunch in the seed and i will i'm going to start a bunch of them from seed today <clears throat> get them growing and then here in about a month or so i'm gonna plant them hopefully i think out here um when um it gets a hopefully a little bit cooler because it'll be too hot so like i said last night we got quite a bit of rain and yesterday we got some rain and so my husband's sweet corn took a big hit we had a um kind of a a short severe thunderstorm here last sunday and it gave us hail and it laid his sweet cordon down. Um, which we really is the first time we've ever successfully done sweet corn. We've done it before in the past, but it's not ever been successful. And so we were pretty upset. The thing that was frustrating to us was, flip my camera around. So I have field corn all around me. Of course it didn't touch the field corn. They didn't lay down because field corn stalks are a little bit more um, beefier I guess and not so tender as the sweet corn so it still kind of look it doesn't look as pretty and as you can tell we have some that have fell over and um, it didn't really affect his um, later corn that he planted but if you can see in the middle here we got some rain last night and it's done toppled it down so we're hoping, like it did before, that it'll come back up and um, be okay. That's what we're hoping for. But we just get so much wind here um, where we're at. And you know, my greenhouse has got the brunt of the wind. And actually right now it looks awful because, let me show you. So that's there's my greenhouse right now it's awful we are revamping it and and we're gonna redo it using like old windows and stuff try to salvage that frame um but that is not something that we're doing right now 
but it is a crippled mess right there. That greenhouse is. But it'll get better. I'm not gonna let that upset me, but it flips around. Well, I should probably get those panels off of there. Um, let's see what else I can show you. I got a green snowball plant, I think is what it's called, from Lowe's um, several months ago that was damaged. And I replanted, I replanted it out here and it looks really lovely. The wind has just destroyed all this back here. I need to come back here and fix it. Okay, so let's enter my garden. So we had plastic on our greenhouse that got, my husband tore that out, that's everywhere. It's like, it looks awful right here. Um, all right, so my roses, eh. my blueberries are pretty much all done producing any kind of berries at this point. Um, this one, I just pruned this one yesterday, this tomato plant. This is my um, Dr. Witchies. It is a Baker Creek. That is a weed. tomato for my Dr. Witchies plant. I have another Dr. Witchies right there. It hasn't really gotten very big. Okay, so note to myself next year, I will not be putting my giant sunflowers in a pot. For one, they break off. They don't grow very well. See the pots? Disaster. In the ground, much better. Um, and this plastic is all through here. It's big. I got an eggplant there, one on the bottom. I have three eggplants growing on that little pot. So my eggplant, although it looks kind of sad, in the pots has done really well. So this last storm that we had, um, it destroyed my big sunflower. It totally ripped it down off the ground. And then ever since then, my sunflowers have a lean to them. So. I got the giant ones and so they really are leaning really heavily and I tried to tie them up as best I can, but it is what it is. So they're kind of droopy, but they still have tons of bees um, up there doing their jobs. So, I mean, besides the fact that it's a little droopy, it's still beautiful. Got lots of bees swimming around me. So. Hopefully those will go to seed and be okay. Okay, so down here I got some of my pear tomatoes. I needed to tie that one up, I didn't. I have some cherry tomatoes over here that are starting to blush a little bit, starting to turn colors. Um, so that's good. Let's see what else I have. Over here is my pumpkin patch. My leaves over here got damaged for all that rain but if you look down there I have a baby pumpkin coming up I have several actually that have been found in there they fix them to come up so this is my little pumpkin patch um, I've planted me some zinnias around there some cosmos in the back um, whew, it rained a lot but it's already look my poor flower is hot here it's been so hot um, this is my okra. This okra plant here has not yet given me one okra. Um, but it's starting to get them on there. Um, look, that okra I've already flowered. That's really weird. I've never known that to do that. I'm not an okra person, so I don't really know. I've got some okra over there. My chamomile. So definitely my chamomile got too hot and it didn't ever really do anything. So next year I need to make sure that I plant my chamomile a lot earlier so it doesn't get too hot. It's just been so hot here the last week or so. Well, probably more than that. I don't know. It's time runs, runs together, but it's been super hot. Um, too hot for my chamomile. Um, but let's see what else I can tell you about. Oh, I need a weed so badly. 
Um, okay, over here, I probably have something I can pluck. So these are squash. I've got summer squash in here, yellow squash. And there it is. I'm gonna give those a little bit longer. But that plant is great with that. Starting to get some blooms over there. Um, let's see. Check out that tomato. I don't know if this, holy crap, hopefully that doesn't split. That's a big old mater right there. Um, I pruned all my tomatoes um, and tied them all up. Um, and for the most part, they are looking really, really good. Um, my pepper, or my peppers, I planted them all close together and peppers take a long time to do anything and I think you can top your peppers which I didn't do this year um, but you can top them where you'll get more fruit um, but I do have some pepper I think those are my sugar rush peppers over there they're starting to do something of course, it rained. Oh, I lost a piece of my thing. All right. I got a watermelon growing there, squash over there, a watermelon down at the bottom. Look at this gnarly tomato. Oh, that's cool. And this is, um, I actually labeled this one, and it's a Abe Lincoln tomato variety. Um, there's that tomato and I don't know if I can walk back here because like I said it's super muddy with all this rain that tomato is huge ah, it's awesome Put more tomato there I have that tomato over there the one on top split but the one on bottom <laughs> there it is and there's my hand and I have a big hand for a girl that is a huge tomato there's another one over there so I'm gonna have lots of lots of tomatoes. We did have a war with the tomato worms. We're still kind of plucking them off here and there. What I've noticed is they start from the top. So if you look at your plants and if you notice they're starting to look real bare on top, chances are you have a worm and they camouflage so well you can't really see them because they're green and they look like you know tomato stem or a leaf kind of curled, um, but they will, they'll start at the top and they'll just eat their whole plant in like a matter of days. So you, you have to be vigilant on getting them off of there. Um, I've been told that birds like finches will come and eat those birds or eat those worms and eat the bugs off your plant. But it's kind of a mixed review on if they'll eat your tomato plants. Um, but I am thinking I'm gonna put a bird feeder out here um, close to my tomato plants and kind of see if I notice a difference because you should be able to see the birds and seeing what they're doing um, but like I said it's just been so dry here so droughty that my tomato plants look kind of curly the leaves look kind of curled because and we did get quite a bit of rain I should go check my rain gauge okay so over here I have peppuccinis and I just literally filled a whole um, quart jar full of peppertinis. I could probably put, pluck that one. And those are my cayenne. None of them are red yet, but I will definitely eat some cayenne, make some cayenne powder. I got some smaller version sunflowers over here. This is actually the stuff. I was going to come in here and weed this today, and I probably still am. Um, I planted some radishes. I don't know, maybe I dug them up actually accidentally. But anyway, so I have some dragon dragon tongue beans out here that my my plan was for them to kind of climb up my sunflowers. That's still my plan, but I def desperately need to get in here and weed because it's kind of becoming a giant mess over here. I might get in the shade for a minute. It is warm before I show you the other half of my garden. So, um, 
definitely want to get my tomatoes pruned up as early as I can and tied up as early as I can. I kind of didn't grasp the concept of a one stalk, stalk tomato. Um, but literally, if you prune off your suckers and keep that one stalk and just have it go up, I mean, they'll, it's an indeterminate, it's the type that I plant, so it'll just go, keep going until, I mean, until as high as you let it go. Um, and so next year, I, I may do something a little bit differently. And I say that because if you look at my tomato plants, I mean, they've already way gone higher than my little cattle panels on their side. And so I'm gonna try to kind of like maybe, you know, wind it down and up if I can. I don't know if I'll be able to. I really need to go through and count how many tomato plants that I have so that I know next year on probably what not to do. Cause I'm probably gonna have so many. And if I can and do like what I'm hoping to do, I probably won't need very many tomatoes. <laughs> Just the ones for the fresh sandwiches that I wanna, wanna eat. Um, but there's so many things that I want to get out here and do and make it pretty, but it's just like so hot that it tends to be like two minutes, it feels like, of pruning and of weeding. And then it's either inside or I'm in my pool trying to cool off because it's just entirely too warm out here to do anything. Um, but definitely need to make sure next year that I am pruning and being vigilant about the bugs. Um... Yeah, so let's go back in here. Okay. So, there's my rose. Look, this is my, um, well, I forgot what it was called. Um, my plant. What the heck? Huckleberry, I'll get it. Anyways, I think these are probably getting ready to be ripe. I don't know how much I'll get for anything off of that plant, just because that was a learning experience in itself. Like I said, my blueberries are pretty much done there. Whew. All right. Oh no, my scarecrow lost her hat. Bless her little tin head. So, let me put that back on. <laughs> know why my cucumbers just suddenly are dying. I did have a problem with some squash bugs earlier, um, but it's just random. How? Oh, that's a big one. These are all pickling cucumbers. Um, so when those started to die off like that, I started to panic and think, oh no, I'm not going to get any cucumbers. So what I did was I went over and maybe got a little crazy and planted me a whole bunch of cucumbers over here so literally these are all cucumbers and hopefully in the next few days i'm gonna take the cattle panel and i'm gonna run the cucumbers over because not only are these cucumbers but these are cucumbers that are starting to, you know, help me. I need some more. No, these aren't cucumbers. I'm sorry. Okay, so those are all cucumbers. These are all, like, this is a small cantaloupe. And that's cantaloupe. So this is all cantaloupe. And I need to get these to line up. Or I'm going to have a, probably a big mess here in my hands. So that is the whole bed full of cantaloupe. Which I hope I get rid of some of it because literally I'm the only one in my family that will eat cantaloupe. Now, it's sad because I love it, but I can only eat so much of it. Okay, so back over here in my archway, like I said, I don't know what was killing those off, but I am getting some. There's another cucumber that's not ready to be picked over there. My lavender, my mint's doing really well in my plant and my pot. I'm getting some long beans over here that I planted so hopefully I'll start going up there's a late tomato plant there and there's a tomato there that one's looking great that's a perfect looking tomato um and then all of these tomatoes here are my Cherokee purples so these are really good I hope I've not actually 
Cherokee purple that I've ate like to the end. Like I've planted them before, but then something were to just happen. And I don't know. So, um, this tomato got attacked by I'm guessing my cat. That looks kind of like it's either cracked. I was kind of upset about that, but then when I looked at the bottom, it's kind of got some end rot there or something going on. So, there's that. Okay, over here I have my nasturtium, and that's calendula, those yellow flowers. And you can actually do something with those, like medicinally um, and salve wise. So, I'm gonna need to look into that because I did, I think I want to plant more of those next year. If I do indeed have that. And then there's a tomato in one of my pots that I got tomatoes on. Okay, this is my zucchini plant that I've already plucked several zucchinis off of. I got another one in here. That's a good size zucchini. I just ate some zucchini this morning for breakfast. Um, let's see. Oh, see, this is what happens when you let your zucchini go. I don't think this one had any on it, but it does. Oh, that's a big one. Okay. This is my green stock. My strawberries are basically done. I need to get in here and get my, um, some of my, um, uh, herbs out of here. But... So I got some some basil right there, some more basil. And then these are these spoon tomato plants. Um, so look, these are tiny little tomatoes. I just totally went everywhere. They pop in your mouth and eat them. They're really good. But I'm in my stock here. They dry out really easily. They dry out really easily, but I mean, seriously, they are the best munching. They'd be good in a salad too. I will definitely do those again next year. I'm gonna over here. This is this art, this kind of a crazy ornamental looking pepper, which the leaves and stuff look really cool, but I have yet to get anything out of it. That's basil. I'm gonna go set these vegetables down. I did make a basil tea the other day. Oh my gosh, it was so good. With a little bit of lemon balm. My husband even kind of liked it. And he is not a um, tea drinker. Let me set these vegetables down. Phew, my chickens stink today. It's hot and we got all that rain. It's kind of gross. All the joys of having chickens. Okay. So. So there is my zucchini plant. It's just two of them in my bed with my flowers. There's another one of those spoon tomato plants. I just kind of randomly put those places. Those aren't good. Um, there's my potatoes. I actually dumped dumped out a little container of potatoes and we got like, hmm, I don't know, seven or eight decent sized potatoes. So we're letting those go a little bit longer. But there's a bug right there and I hate those bugs. I don't have my gloves on either. Um, those are some of my green beans. I plucked at least, oh gosh, two big, three big helpings of green beans off of there. They look kind of sad, but because it's so hot, but I think those are contenders. It's a bush bean. I think they're good. I also have more bush beans over here. Those are all bush beans. This down here is um, small eggplant. I probably need to weed those a little bit. Let's see. I gotta do something with my tomato plant. It's kind of going everywhere. But this is a German tomato plant that I actually got the seed from one of my patients. So I'm really hoping it does really well so I can give him his first tomato. I planted some winter squash, winter squash there. This is another um, bean plant. And then my Cosmos, they're all through there. I got a cucumber plant that's kind of all twisty. I know I'm gonna come out here one day and I have one that's like huge, because I'm gonna miss seeing it, but 
I mean, it's doing really, really good. That cucumber plant is. Let's see. Over here, I got my giant zinnias that are fixing to almost blossom. And then mixed in with the weeds over here is my lemon balm right there. And then I can't forget my egg plant. This is an eggplant I bought from Lowe's the other day. Um, a while ago, actually. Looks like it's starting to get me some eggplants. So, anyways, here here is a look of my flourish garden. As of the first first couple of days of July. I've literally I've only been out here for like not even 20 minutes and I'm dying. It's so hot. So hot, hot, hot. Alright. I'm not done though. I'm going to show you. Some other things. Okay, this is another one of my spoon plants. I trimmed the fire out of it yesterday because, for one thing, it was getting attacked by a worm. So I think I plucked. Oh, the wind kind of got that right there. Um, I think I trimmed most of the ones that I think they're over here. So like, see how like there's no leaves and there's just the stems right there. That's because that darn old freaking worm just obliterated it. And it did the same thing to this one. Um, these are starting to kind of blush. This one it looks so sad. Next year I will not plant this in a pot. This is aroma anyways. And aromas are kind of prone to getting sick. Hard to grow sometimes. But, I mean, we got so much rain last night. You would think that that would look better. But it, it doesn't. Um... There is another, uh, I think that's hair, maybe. All right, well, if you can't notice, we have roosting, or we have, um, we finished our nesting boxes. We gotta paint it. Don't mind the crookedness, because the shed's crooked, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, but anyways, these are nice so I don't have to go in the coop. I can just lift this up oh look i got one sitting in there it's one of my green olive eggers oh, i'm just gonna put that there let's see we got so much rain it rained through there they're not uh rain proof those two in the middle they don't really like to lay on but the ones at the ends seems to be the one where they lay in see dirty because like I said it rained. Oh it's warm. So over here literally we had all these extra tomato plants and we just threw them over here and <laughs> look at the tomatoes that we've got. Those are all romas I think which are great for canning. Those are romas. Um, all romas. These are probably a beefsteak I would imagine because they're big. Those we haven't, we've got to get those out of the cages. And that's what we kind of did with this thing concoction we found. We just kind of grew it up there. Those are pear tomatoes. And I've got some pears that I can see that need to be plucked. I ate some the other day and they were so good. I love pear tomatoes. But literally we're going to throw all these away. And we didn't. And now we have a lot. I did pluck a tomato worm off of that tomato plant. Look how it did the top. So I also threw in a watermelon plant over here because I was just like, whatever this area is gonna you know, thrive, obviously. I've got two watermelon plants growing over there. Um, so this is where we had our pigs um, and our chickens for a really long time. So I think the ground has got some good fertilization. And then to end the garden tour, so we have late, some late tomatoes out here. Um, and some peppers that we got for free, basically. Um, so these are all tomatoes um, and peppers. Tomatoes and peppers all the way down there. You just gotta love Kentucky in July because it's just lovely. It's hot. It's like a total 
10 to 15 degree difference though in the shade. Um, it's crazy. Which is, I'm glad we have some shade back here. <laughs> anyway. Okay, that is my garden as of July 2nd, it is, I guess. Um, lots of things been going on. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to start some seeds inside for my fall garden. I am going to pick up a canner. I have a water bath canner, but I don't have a pressure canner. And I'm gonna bite the bullet and I'm gonna do that probably soon. And then, so I can start canning. Like I said, I got beans, some pepperoncinis that I love that I'm gonna pickle. I'm gonna do some cucumbers. Um, and then obviously when all these bajillion tomato plants come in, it's gonna be a tomato like festival. We're gonna do <laughs> um, canned tomatoes, salsas, um, some sauces and all things tomatoes. So I will definitely post a video on that because like I said, that's something brand new to me. I've never done the pressure canner. So I will definitely need some time to look at that and read on recipes and all that good stuff. But I just wanted to kind of show you um, what's been going on. I know I haven't posted a video in a while, but Lord, we have been busy. I promise you, me and my husband both, that's what we do. We come home and we garden and it's a lot of work. And you know, the funny thing is, is people will say, because I work full time um, and my husband, well, he's a teacher, so he's got off in the summertime, but um, how do you make time to do that? And I just, I enjoy doing it. It's not that I'm making time to do it. It makes it sound like a chore. I really do enjoy doing it. It's like therapeutic to um, get out and weed when you're frustrated sometimes. And it's also very re rewarding when you actually get to eat what you've planted from seed. I can't explain it. It's just this wonderful feeling of accomplishment and sustainability, I guess, that it's just a great feeling. And I enjoy, like I said, I enjoy doing it. it. It's something that keeps me at home. And here lately, that is what I really want to do is stay home. We got our pool. I've been going to the gym and, and trying to eat healthier. And I feel better. And just all things, you know, that you do to enjoy your life. And that's just what I enjoy doing. And I have drug my husband into it too and I'm very super proud of him because he's going to the gym with me now which I would have never thought maybe the gym part but I never would have thought he would have ate some of the things that I fixed that don't involve meat and cheese and bread so I'm very proud of him <laughs> we are on a health kick to do better and drink more water and like I said just it it's it's all encompassing your whatever it's a lifestyle and I enjoy it and I hope we continue to do it and I hope that I've inspired you today and I'm fixing to go throw up some frozen watermelon that I cut up for my chickens so they can enjoy it on this hot hot day and I am probably going to get in the pool so I hope you're doing something to be cool today to stay cool and um, until I post another video y'all have a great wonderful day bye